In today's workshop, we're modelling um, practice for the classroom. We're taking a look at some ideas that teachers can bring back to the classroom immediately and use with their, their students. So we're, we're looking at ideas in teaching fractions, teaching complex numbers, and we're taking some advice from the project schools as well as to how to best implement practice in the classroom. So here's what Project Math suggests we do with fractions. Don't teach them anything first. Give them this thing, it's called the diagnostic test. It gives you an idea of, of what they're, they're weak with, we'll say. So have a sample of some questions for you. So what we're going to do is, I'm going to set you some problems and I'm going to suggest the method or the strategy to try and solve it. The first strategy I want you to try and use is to draw a picture. Barry is having four of his friends to his house for pizza. He's going to give them two thirds of a pizza each. How much pizza will his friends eat? I think the way that we have been teaching maths really is outdated, like by giving the formula. I think from now on it will be important that the students themselves derive the formula. So by the way I'd be introducing the topic that they can change. Person 1 is going to get that number. That's person 1. Then this is person 2. 2. Okay. And then person 3 is going to get this one here. Um, I enjoyed the hands-on aspect of the fact that you could um, work through the, the problems. Um, it just made it much more interesting. You know, just you weren't applying a formula. Okay. And this question tells us that her rectangular birthday cake <laughs> and Mary, to make you feel better, it happens in every single workshop. Somebody draws a circle. Okay, so six over 28. She's two fifths left first. And she eats three quarters of it. So the teacher's going, that's what she eats. Whereas the students did this. There's the two sections left. They went into four. In the past, it was a lot of rote learning procedures, and they didn't see the relevance of this to everyday life. So it should make it more interesting for the students, and hopefully it will help to motivate them a little bit better. There is more support available now than there's ever been for maths in this country. If you go onto the projectmaths.ie website, you'll see that it's, it's full of support for teachers. And teachers in the project schools have said the importance of the maths department working as a team. There's almost so much there that people are taking separate sections and going through the material and, and reporting back to their colleagues on what's available. Last problem is the best one. And the strategy I want you to use here is to build your answer to it. That's what the blocks are on your desk for. So can you open up that bag and try and build your answer? And this will really show me if you think like a teacher or if you think like a student. So 25th, like the child, 3 fifths, 4 pieces. Somebody can go hungry. We started off with, with um, four, four pizzas, five, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. So it would be four divided by three fifths, isn't it? So would you not, would you not minus those first? That's our six. So we took away the. I'm not sure that's going to link back in now. Yeah. That's your, that's your six and two thirds, and even that way. I enjoyed using the blocks to explain it more clearly to them. Something like more visual in the classroom as opposed to doing all just the work from their textbook, transfer it to the board. I think kind of more hands-on approach. I met a past pupil recently who was doing mechanical engineering and he said to me, you can't get over the number of applications of complex numbers. So I said, can you give me one for workshops? He said, anything that's, that's mechanical is programmed using complex equations. He said the example of a car wash is probably the best one. When they design a movie or a computer game, the first thing they create is a, this 3D world. And your position is defined in this world using a complex number. So Woody is standing here. If they want Woody to move, they add a complex number to his character, and then he starts to move. I enjoyed the way that the math was being applied, let's say, to everyday situations, and where the, let's say, math is useful, let's say, in everyday life. I think that will be useful for the students in class, maybe motivate them a little bit more. I'll be using some of the um, activities which um, our instructor mentioned. Things that you use are ordinary living, you see, so you can, they can relate to what you're doing. I would feel teachers can leave today's workshop and implement it tomorrow, because it, it's really, it's a ready-made package and it's material that's been trialled in 24 schools. So I, I'd see teachers going out there and using it almost immediately. There are still traditional classes in Project Maths. In fact, I'd say it's important to break down the distinctions there between maths and project maths. It's all maths. Mm -hmm.